Um, this is Paul Burleson yeah. of the Rock and Roll Trio. What we're looking at here is a guitar that he uses on the road now, which is a 53 Fender Telecaster. This is not the original uh, tailpiece, but the original tailpiece in there my, in a drawer in the house. I took this tailpiece off, put it up there because the oven was getting rusty. Oh, okay. So I took it off, put this on there, but the keys and all this is original. And uh, the other stuff, I've got all the original stuff for it. It's just, I've just got it because it was getting rusty and I took it off and put it. Sure. To, to preserve it, that's again, I've got it in there. I'll be darned. So now that is the um, the guitar itself that you used on all the sessions with Coral, or is that no, that's, that's the Esquire. one? That's your Esquire. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Esquire. The, wow. Uh, the one on Coral. This one is the one that this guitar here I bought. I backed over the one <laughs> in the car. I backed over the Esquire. Is that right? Yeah, it's got one pickup, you know. Yeah, the Esquire. And, uh, Esquire, and I, I backed over it in the car. Oh, so no. when I got back to Memphis, then I bought a 57, uh -huh. which is under the bed. Oh, so, I'll be darned. So I backed over it in the end of 56, and I played this guitar under the bed all during 1957. Oh, okay. With the trio. I'll so, be darned. And uh, it's under the bed, and uh, and I've got the uh, uh, Esquire in there that I bought from a friend of mine, another Esquire, that, uh, and I've got it that's under there, and uh, then I've got... That old one and that one there too. Uh -huh. So wow. I've owned. Uh, Stevie Ray played this one in here, and I'm going to show you on the House of Rocket. Okay. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan did. That they oh. used on all the sessions on Coral Records. Uh, that they used in the Rock and Roll Trio sessions. That's the very actual guitar. Well, now, it was been stripped. It was it, white. It was it was stripped down, so it was originally white then. Uh -huh. After it was white, I put wrapped it in leather. Uh huh. Like what? Leather. See the guy. Then I stripped it back down and make it back blonde again. And, I'll be darned. And uh, yeah, but it's the same, I'll same, be darned. same keys, same, uh, same controls. I'll be darned. Let's see, man, oh man. Get close up of it, patent pending. Yeah, I'll be darned. There's Black the pick guard. Man, well you know I've got a Fender. It's a '78, and and it was because of you that I I said you know my first guitar. I said I want to get I want to get a Tele. What's, uh, what's your friend's name? Jeff Burnett. Jeff Burnett. Jeff, I'm going to send this pic to you, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Use it sometime. Uh, well, I'll so give I'll it save it. You. Maybe it'll be worth something one of these days. Uh, sure. Well, and it, well, it's worth something right now. It's <laughs> worth something right now. Uh, well, Mr. Burleson, man, I, I can't thank you enough, and, and it's, man, it's been, it's been a pleasure to, you know. Oh, glad to have you. you Anytime know. back up this way, just give me a call. Okay. Uh, I'll have me, I'll come back, or Drive by, if you come back, bring your friend with you, then give me a call sometime. I'll oh. be glad to have you come back in. All right. How did you do the things like on octaves, like on Honey Hush? It's just not not cute. Ah, be darned. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> I, I, I noticed that one was. Well, let me get this one. Maybe I can get this one. Maybe I can get it. But I'll tune it over. Do it. So now that's the original case that came with it? That yeah, that's the fit case. You don't see? See how that's all? This is all leather. Yeah, I noticed that. That's called a fit case. Ooh. I have the same problem. <laughs> I can never keep them in tune. Yeah, see, I play, um, I play, you know, uh, country and, and rock and roll and things like that in church. I back in old Assembly of God Church back in Yuba City, and uh, so that's where you know I use mine for the most part, you know. Well, no, the Esquire, that's right. The Esquire's got only one pickup, and it's up uh -huh. in the front, if I remember right. My ears by gone. 
So now you, do you still do some playing, or? Yeah, I've been playing a group called Sun Room Section. I'll be darn. Do you, do you play mostly like out here in, in Mississippi and Tennessee and? No, we play all over. Do you really? Do you have like a schedule? Because I mean, if you you're well, ever coming to Sacramento been, or anything. We've been to England six times. We've been to Norway. We've been to all over up in the eastern part of the states. Is that right? I've been to Norway. I've been to Finland. So Sweden. Is that right? Man. Yeah. That must be neat to, to travel around and, and things like that. We played Kuwait. Did you really? Yeah, <laughs> bring bring your bulletproof vest, is that yeah. <laughs> Baby Blue Eyes. That was always when I always I always used to you know really used to love playing. Da, 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 da. If that's if you wanted enough, isn't it? Oh, that there it is. Okay. Now let's see. The one we did the movie lost the train along the track, I guess. <laughs> oh, rock, rock, rock. Yeah. Lonesome train, yeah. <laughs> I can't sing like Johnny. I, I've tried, believe me. It's... Wow. Uh, what you're talking about, octaves, was just this. I, I've done that, and I think I've, I've broke more E strings. <laughs> Low E, you know, high E strings than I'd care to count, you know. Somewhere in the 40s, you know, it's in the mid 40s. Sometimes you run the strings down, you get a little better sound. Like oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be done. That is, man, that is, yeah. that is neat. Uh, then, uh, let's see. This is one of the... <laughs> what song was that? I just found out. I I forgot it's it. It's not on my record. <laughs> I know the song. How are we doing? On the end is I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> G, but I said G, I go, you know. Uh, uh, this little slide. I like those. <laughs> oh, man. That is neat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't, don't tell me. I want to be home, be your loving man all by myself. All by myself. I don't even want to love you, gonna love you all by myself. Little God, I, I got a gal six feet tall, is that how I can, I can, I always get them mixed up, you know? I always get them mixed up. Oh, uh, he, um, um, uh, if, if you wanted enough, isn't it? My fingers still. It goes, it was, I did it like this. Like that. One of those things that, of course, tortures your fingers all day. <laughs> I'll be darn. I can never figure out the part to that. I was just doing a little boogie woogie run underneath it, but that's actually how it goes. I'll be darn. <laughs> man, oh man, that is neat. Well, now, yeah, this is the one. Mm 
Yeah, that, that was the one. <laughs> Man, that is neat. Yeah. Now, now, Johnny and Dorsey sang that together, didn't they? Why don't you let me? Well, now, a lot of songs you guys used to do on the Ted Mac Amateur Hour, too. <laughs> gotta do it that way, that's right. End it that way. Yeah. Man, oh man. That is wonderful. <laughs> uh, that's Carl Perkins, isn't it? No, that's Paul Burleson, that's the way it. Yeah, Carl went. No, he went. So, yeah. You know what one, what chord I, what really is a nice one that I use? I hope you don't mind me filming. I don't mean to be. <laughs> no, no. Uh, let's see. Is that Shadow Dree? Let's see, uh, I think so. Shadow Dreams, I remember that one. Then you would say there were some of those obscure, obscure ones like. Tear it up. Okay, yeah. Up. I'll be darned. Now see, all the time I was doing that in the lower regions of the neck, and so that's how you do it. You do it up in, like around the A position. Here. I'll be darned. You're right. <laughs> 